it's been just six months since Rudiska High School has offered Mandarin as an optional language to learn. And its classes have since then been full of enthusiastic students. It's available to grade eights at the school, while the particular age and have the correct linguistic skills needed to adapt quite well to a language which is increasingly being communicated with around the world. Yeah, I think more and more schools, they will want to learn uh, Mandarin because now it's very popular languages in, in the world and so many people can speak uh, basic Chinese, for example, 你好, uh, 你好吗, 我很好, just like this, uh, hello, but when uh, they, the first level is like this, but the second and third level, we can learn more about Chinese culture and our customs. Yeah, the students are taught to read and write in Mandarin. So far, they can converse quite easily in it, as well as express their particular feelings. Mastering the various tones, though, is not that easy. However, the teacher has gone for a lateral approach in educating them and has taken to learning a widely spoken local language in order to communicate their instructions a bit easier. I, I learned the Epicons, their native language, so maybe we'll closer than with the students. I can speak a little Epicon just like donkey, buy a donkey, hoot, buy a hoot, dog scenes, and maple scene. So when I when a teaching is, is hard to teach them, sometimes uh, rest time I would, I would uh, talk to them the Epicon and they feel uh, it's familiar and closer than with them, so, so uh, maybe I will practice more time the tones. Currently, there are more than 40 schools in South Africa that have introduced Mandarin as an additional language, but Hrutuskia plans on offering broader access and a wider rollout to its students in the future. Next year, it will be grade 8 and 9, and the year after, in 2017, it will be introduced as an elective subject, so grade 10 to 12 learners can then choose to have uh, Mandarin as a second additional language. Now though these learners have been working quite hard for the upcoming Mandarin exams and have so far become so good that their teacher is quite confident that they'll be able to ace it. Now most of the schools that offer Mandarin are right here in Cape Town but that is set to change over the next five years when around 500 schools will offer it as an additional language. Around 500 teachers will also undergo training during that period. Representative CCTV, Cape Town.